Welcome to Craft Tutorials. I'm Shiva and in this tutorial we're going to take a look at how you can use multiple objects as a clipping mask in Adobe Illustrator. So I have a picture here and I have several ellipses on top of that picture and I want to use those ellipses as a clipping mask. Now first thing we have to do is select all the ellipses. I'm going to lock my picture so I can just select everything with the selection tool and then have all my ellipses selected minus my picture. Now I'm going to go to object, clip a uh, compound path, make. Now your ellipses have turned into a compound path. And when I now unlock my linked file and I select everything and I then go to make clipping mask, you can see the picture is shown inside of your ellipses because you made your ellipses, or I should say your compound path into a clipping mask. So you now have your clip group. You see that your compound mask has changed into a compound clip clipping path and your linked file is below that. Now you can edit still your clipping mask or your compound clipping path. If you select it, then you see on top here you have clip group and you have a edit clipping path option and edit content option. The edit clipping path you can enlarge your clipping path but if you do this with your normal selection tool as you can see it's quite restricted if you instead take your direct selection tool you can then change the paths the anchor the anchors you can transform your circles within your clipping path and just manipulate your clipping path like that. If you choose the edit content, then you will be able to slide your picture or whatever you clipped into a new position. You can also go into your layers window and then there choose your clipping path or your linked file and you have the same options on top of here. You can still add objects to your compound clipping part. Let's say we're going to make another a star. Let's make a star and I'm going to give the star a green color. I'm going to make the star and as you can see the star is on top of everything now. But if I select my star in my layers window and I drag it below the compound clipping part now the star is inside of my clipping path. And if you want to get it out again, you just select it and you drag it on top of your clip group. And now it's outside of your clipping group as well. And if you just want to release everything, you select everything, you go to object, clipping mask, release, and then everything is released. Control Z, Control Command C to undo that. You might have noticed that your clipping object, so your circles, they were blue. As soon as you make it a clipping mask, it loses its color and it loses its stroke. You can, however, if you want to, edit it afterwards by selecting your clipping path, going to properties, and here you can say that you want a fill or a stroke, you give it a color. Let's make it blue. And then you can say how big you want your stroke to be. And you can also give it a fill if you like that. But yeah, you can manipulate your clipping path like that also. So you can give it a fill and a stroke if you like to have a fill and a stroke. So that was a quick tutorial on how you can use multiple objects as a clipping mask and still edit that clipping mask, add to it or distract from it. Let me know in the comments below if you like this video. Be sure to press the like button if you did. If you want to see my future videos, be sure to also press the subscribe button with a little bell icon. And for now, stay creative and I hope to see you in the next one.